name is spelled right, is it? Oh, good morning, Michael. Good morning. Um, of course, I'm going to ask you why you're here, and I think you can tell. <laughs> well, it's a lot. Yeah, tell us. be be here for another round in the in the milk war, which mm -hmm. is raging now for 22 years, mm -hmm. and uh, the crown and the region are trying, basically, to again. Uh, challenge talking? us, yeah. challenge us in regards to the issue if people have the right to drink milk, mm -hmm. and that's what it, what the bottom line is here. That uh, people, you know, asking basically that that their choices are respected. It's amazing that they're not respected, you know, when you think of it. But uh, well, they are. Uh, that's right. I mean, there are forces at work which are far beyond, you know, our comprehension. How much the industry is actually involved in pushing that forward, and mm -hmm. uh, there's a whole question of licensing. You know, that whatever you do has to be licensed. But um, a fundamental, really fundamental question is, you know, the, where does where does the right of people stop? Um, why don't they simply say? People have no right anymore, and yeah. we're going to tell them. Instead, it's it's kind of a mockery of that that Canada is described as the freest country in the world, yeah. and then people have not even a right to make an informed Decision choice. To see what and we not in the public realm. I mean, it's no, not that no. we're offering people um, not, uh, not that, a, that, not that, we, that we we offering un, uh, the general public something um, and they don't know about it. It, it. it is an informed choice. People make their decision, they join the cooperative and uh, want basically peace yeah. in regards to their decision. So can you maybe tell me what today and tomorrow is okay. all about? <clears throat> to, today and tomorrow basically is, first of all, uh, there are th three major motions on the floor. The one is that um, of, of the uh, Our Farm, Our Food Co-op wants to have standing in court to mm -hmm. become basically uh, part of the proceedings. Mm -hmm. um, and that is the Consumer Co-op. Mm -hmm. And then we have the motion from uh, the ARC and um, the other participants asking that the application for an injunction should be converted into an action so that we can have actually a full trial. Mm -hmm. And the third one is that um, Simcoe and Peel region asking to join the action against us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there's a third motion where they want to join basically the applications uh, to shut us down. And who made the motions? Okay, our motion is uh, to, uh, our motion or um, the uh, ARC's motion is to, that's the Agricultural Renewal Cooperative, that um, it be converted to a trial. Uh -huh. It is our farm, our food co-ops motion to ask that they can join, mm -hmm. uh, to have standing in court. Mm -hmm. And it is appeals and Simcoe County uh, Health Unit's motion um, to join into the act. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's not from the courts to you, but from you to the courts, roughly speaking. Um, right now, there's only one motion which deals with the issue that they wanted. They wanted that uh, more health units join the action mm -hmm. against us. Mm -hmm. So it's uh, uh, kind of the philosophy: the more, the merrier, mm -hmm. uh, to kind of get us down. Mm -hmm. um, the other, uh, the other actions are, are simply kind of. Um, administrative actions uh, so that that we have a fair trial that, yeah, that yeah. justice is done fairly and not just you know uh, mm -hmm. quick quick uh, how you call it uh, procedures mm -hmm. that uh, where actually people don't have a voice and mm -hmm. um, so we try to really address the issue that there is more at stake than 
just a simple fact that mm -hmm. we're breaking the law. Yeah, it goes yeah. far beyond that. Yeah. So that's. So um, is it possible? I don't know if it's going to until the four o'clock tomorrow. Yes. Um, I would like to talk to you afterwards. Oh, if, yeah, if that's possible. It should be fine. But um, I won't be here until four. That's fine. So we will be. Uh, we will be here. Okay. There's, there's no now, now the other question I have is: Can you just tell a little bit about the court case that you had about the cameras, just briefly? Well, uh, in, and it's directly connected, actually, to the the in injunctions proceedings here uh, mm -hmm. by the Crown and by by the director uh, of the Milk Act, um, that they try to prove. Um, you know that people come to our farm to pick up milk and so on so they installed surveillance cameras and mm -hmm. um, the, the surveillance cameras were discovered and uh, then I phoned the police and asked them about these surveillance cameras mm -hmm. um, because um, when we looked at the pictures on the surveillance cameras there were pictures from our children on it mm -hmm. and people coming to the farm and you yeah. know people were jogging, not, people jogging, jogging. and uh, not connected at all so there was a random random surveillance um, and then they turned around and charged me for, for theft and mischief yeah, yeah. and uh, that went to trial a year later I went to trial and I got acquitted on all charges because they couldn't prove that that there was criminal intent it exactly. was simply a question that we needed to protect our, our privacy right and privacy, the children yeah. and protect yeah. the children because yeah. how do you know it's not a child predator or exactly you know, could be that so so that went all right that went that went all right so, so um so it's a sad in a way it's a sad affair uh, you know to what length they go in order to exactly. to deal with a, a an, an issue which is an issue in most countries it's not an issue no, no it's people have the choice to drink raw milk yeah they can be there could be or can be warnings on bottles where they yeah, have yeah. to be careful yeah um yeah. but uh, Otherwise, you know, they're making such a big deal here. Yeah. Um, all you know, all the G8 countries except Canada has a way how people can uh, obtain raw, raw milk, milk yeah. and uh, you know, all the other countries, it's possible. It's no problem. Yeah. So, we'll see. And and on top of it, you know, they're starting now with a huge amount of. Uh, vending machines popping up in all of Europe, uh, where people every, just, just like pop machines here. Exactly, they, they we using should have that milk. instead of pop. Yeah. That's for sure. So, so. yeah, and of interesting. Course, and of course, raw milk when it goes bad, as far as I'm concerned, because I've tried it lots of times and had it as a childhood, is um, uh, it goes to clabbered milk. It doesn't really go bad. It's sour, soured milk with yeah, this natural yeah, uh, lactic natural, acid. Yeah, and that's yes. what you do. But I think that is part of you know the problem, the mentality here of sterilizing everything, everything. Um, making it dead. Yeah, and making yeah. it making it dead. So yeah. I, so I think it will be an interesting case. And uh, you know, after 22 years, I mean, these things don't the, these things don't kind of upset me or scare me yeah. anymore yeah. because uh, at the end, it's all about the truth. Exactly. That's how we're going to go. So thank you, Michael. You're welcome.